Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar. I'm of course your host, Leo Hightower, and it's been a while since we've gotten back to this game, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, I cannot find a good time to do recording half the time now, and it's sad. But for now, in the last episode, we managed to finish off the Great Cave Offensive and completed it 100%. There is only one game left. And that game is Milky Way Wishes. And the scenario for this one is, Help! You must stop the sun and moon from fighting! Basically. Milky Way Wishes is the last game on Kirby Superstar. And it's also one of my personal favorites. We'll let the story play out. Kirby! Love this opening transition. One day, in the year something-something, the sun and moon fought day and night. This caused turmoil amidst the people of Dreamland as there was no sun and moon or day and night time. Hey, 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 Marks. Can you make peace between the sun and the moon? You need to ask the giant comet Nova for help. But first, there's something we must do. To ask Nova, we must gather the power from the stars around us. It would be difficult, Kirby, but you can do it. We're counting on you. Good luck. And thus the scenario for Milky Way Wishes begins. Basically, one day the sun and moon started fighting, and it caused turmoil around Dreamland. Now, we as Kirby must travel between the different stars and worlds in order to ask the Comet Nova for help. Let's begin. Wrong button, my bad. And we'll go through the tutorial for this game particularly. This one is very interesting because in Milky Way Wishes, you cannot copy enemies' abilities in this game. But there is a better way to do it. Behold, this is the Deluxe Copy Ability. With the Copy Deluxe Ability, Kirby will acquire that character's abilities forever, basically. And you can select the acquired abilities by pressing Start. And you get a nifty little menu where you can select the abilities whenever you desire. And there's no limit for using the abilities. You can use them as much as you want, which is really cool. And you can select the different abilities by pushing X and cycling through them with the left or right buttons. And if you come to a dead end and can't break through, you have to find another way through with a hidden ability. Now, this is the final game. So concentrate and do your best. But yes, as you can see, we have a world map much like Dinoblade, and we have to travel between the different stars all around us. And if I recall correctly, there are eight or nine stars we have to go through. And we can't go back to Popstar because, yeah. And you gotta love this music right here. But yeah, anyway, let's get started with our first star, right here. The star, Floria. And this stage has an interesting little gimmick, where it changes seasons depending on which door you go through, basically. And you'll have to navigate throughout the different seasons to find the different abilities and get through. But as it said before, you can't copy the abilities of the enemies you inhale, unfortunately. That's no good. So the only thing we can do is search around for the copy abilities. The copy deluxe abilities, mind you. And certain areas get cut off depending on the seasons and the area we traverse through. So yeah, there's a door down there, but we need an ability to get through, which blows, unfortunately. But yeah, all you need to do is search through the area for the abilities, and eventually you'll find them. And we get some rehashed music from Dynablade in this one, too. Anyway, step through this door, and... We get our first ability, the Fighter Ability! now, 
we can use Spider whenever we want to, which is cool. In a sense, I kind of like uh, this game just as much as I like playing through Dynablade. Not just because of the way the stage setup is, but also because of, well, in general. How you traverse throughout the various stages, and how certain stages have certain gimmicks like this one, where it switches between the different seasons. Wish I had better commentary for this, but I apologize, you guys. I really don't have anything planned, and, and that's a really stupid place to put a door, unfortunately, which really stinks. I'm gonna create a helper to help me out with this. And then I'll start fighter again. I really do need to recover. Dang it! This is madness. You can die very easily in, uh, this game if you're not careful. But yeah, basically, as you traverse throughout the various stages, you're gonna be finding different abilities in various places, so it pays to search around, basically. You have to search around, go through the door on this stage multiple times, and eventually you'll find certain abilities. Here's the cutter ability! Now we can go back and open up that one door. You also get a nice little score indicator at the bottom, but it, to me the score really doesn't matter too much in the long run when it comes to Milky Way Wishes. All that really matters is just getting the abilities. Step through the store and we get nothing but food. But anyway, how's my LP audience doing? I know it's been a while since I've actually gotten back to this game, and I apologize for the wait, you guys. Things have been a little turmoil lately, to the point to where I can't find a good time to record. And it's sad, actually. But I'm gonna try and get more videos out, especially now that I've got some free time to myself and there's no one else in the house at the moment. It'd be different, of course, if I could set up everything inside of my room to make it easier to record. But oh well. I'll think of something eventually and try and record more often. I really hate the enemy placement for this level. Seriously. Bitchy, bitchy, bitchy enemy placement for certain areas. It's stupid. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get more videos out of this and, uh, other things I'm working on eventually. But for now, all I can do is just keep pressing forward. like a maze going through this one area, I swear. There you go. Okay, we already went through that door, so let's just keep moving forward. I'll probably come back to some some worlds if I miss certain abilities, basically. But this is basically the gist of it. Anyway, moving on. We got our match with two Wispy Woods, basically. And we're done. The battle against the Twin Wispy Woods is just the same as it was in, um, uh, Revenge of Meta Knight. But anyway, with one star down, and we can move on to the next world. We move on to the next world, which is basically water-based, and I forget the name of it, but it will show it on the display counter. But, uh, I'm gonna take a quick pause break and I'll be right back, you guys, so give me one minute. Okay, I'm back. I just found out I missed one ability in Floria, but we'll come back to that one later. But for now, let's move on to the next world. 
Aquilus. Aquilus is a very interesting stage. It's reminiscent of uh, stage two uh, on uh, Spring Breeze, basically. But it has music from Revenge of Dinoblade, which, in my opinion, is actually pretty good. I like this music. have cannons so we, we don't have fire abilities so we can't go through and get that ability unfortunately so we have to keep moving on. This area is interesting because of the little bubbles that are positioned around it. Step through the bubbles and you get launched. Launched basically. Or jump a little higher. Try and get all the copy of the deluxe abilities as I progress through this game. But if I end up missing any, I'll definitely go back to certain stages and show where they are located. And I'm about to die again. Frick. Oh, there's a maximum tomato. And plenty of food right here, so yeah. Get that maximum tomato. We got a lot of late knights going through the area. I think we're gonna get the sword ability in this area. And really, really stupid placement for spikes right here. Anyway, we got a boss battle. And it's against the Kung Fu guy. And he's down. And our ward is the sword ability. Seriously, Knuckle Joe, jump over the spikes. Uh, that stupid placement. Seriously. I hate the enemy placement for this game. Sometimes it's really, really stupid and dickish. Okay, there's nothing up here, so let's just go down. And Knuckle Joe got KO'd. Sorry, Knuckle Joe, but I'm not reviving you. Okay, this area is very tricky because it follows a set pattern. Go down one area, go down the other, and then boom. But what we want to do is we want to go up here, and we get the beam ability! Anyway, we go down here, we go down here, then go down here, swim upwards, swim upwards, then we wanna- nope, I went the wrong way. It's basically a convoluted maze where all the doors would take you back to the start, basically. Think the minus world concept, in a way. Anyway, go through here, swim through here, swim up here, don't go down, go upwards, then go down, then down again, then upward, and then boom. through. And we get our next boss battle against the returning Fatty Whale. I lost my copy ability already. Fatty Whale's attack pattern is basically the same as he was in uh, the Great Cave Offensive. Nothing is different and nothing has been changed. In fact, a lot of the bosses are pretty much reused from previous games. And there we go.
Anyway, with Fatty Whale out of the way, we grab our second star. And we can move on to the next one, but I think I'll save that for the next episode. Two worlds down so far. And only, let's see, two, four, five left actually. Yeah. And we'll get back to that another time, but for now, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar Milky Way Wishes. Until then, this is Leo Hightower saying, God bless, and happy gaming. Peace out, guys. I really should work on my commentary for these videos. Ugh. Sometimes I suck, guys. I apologize.